Hey guys, Jnots here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make these wrapped charger cords. What you will need for this project will be scissors, your choice of colors, I chose three, but you could choose as many as you'd like, tape, and of course, your charger. Now, depending on your charger, headphone length is how much string you will cut. So I'm going to be, be cutting about a wingspan and a half because my charger is four feet long. The strings are going to be pretty long, but don't worry because you will be making a knot at the top and they will become two strings from one. So the length will not be as long as you cut it. You're going to cut one string of each because when we fold it, it will become two strings and then you'll have a total of six if you decide to use three colors. So now that I have my string cut, I'm going to tape down my charger. And guys, don't worry if your string is not long enough once you decide to start the wrapping because you can always add more and I'll show you guys how to do that as well. So now that I've taped down my charger, I just taped it down at the beginning part of the charger so that it's not blocking the cord. You're going to take your strings and you're going to find the middle of your strings and you're going to put it under the charger because we want this to be symmetrical so the same amount of string that comes on this side is going to be on this side because you don't want to have some shorter than the other. So now that you found the middle you're going to take your strings and you're going to just do a regular overhand knot. So I'm going to put it right here right after this little rubber bit. It's kind of weird. Um, it's just like the beginning of the charger and then I pull it tight. So then you're going to go with whatever color you want to begin with and I'm going to begin with blue. So you take that strand and you separate it from all the other ones. Then you take these and you put it along with the charger. Make sure you guys have watched the first basic knots tutorial because we are going to be using those knots in today's video. Now this only consists of one knot, the forward knot, so make sure you watch that. So the forward knot is just a four over all of the strings and you pull it through. So we do that and it'll, and then you pull it right under the overhead knot. Now it can be a little tricky sometimes, but you'll get the hang of it. And so if it slides back down, you just push it up. So now you're gonna do this again and again and again. It'll give you a spiral once you're done doing all the forward knots. Then you guys are just going to keep on doing forward knots the whole way down and it'll make a spiral. And then once you get as many spirals as you like with this color, you can switch it and I'll show you how to right here. So now that I am done with my blue color, I have done about five spirals of the blue color. I'm going to take my second color, which is going to be yellow, and I separate it from the bunch just like I did with the blue. And then I'm just going to do forward knots. It's the exact same, but it's just with a different color. So you just keep on doing forward knots and you kind of move with the spiral as you go along. So we know that it starts up here and then it's going to go down. So you're just going to make your knots so they go kind of around. It's sort of hard to explain but you just want to make your knots go in the direction that the spiral is going. So right here since the spiral is curving around I'm just going to put my knot and I'm just going to kind of push it under so that it follows the pattern so same here I'm gonna pull this and push it under as well so that it comes back around on the other side you can also do this without the charger you can just do it as a bracelet and you'll just do the exact same thing minus the charger and it'll be a bracelet it's called the Chinese staircase so now you can see that I have run out of strings to tie my knots with so I'm gonna take more thread that I cut out and we're gonna do the exact same thing we did in the beginning now that we pulled the knot tight, we're going to cut these strings. So there's also another way you can do it. You can do it just by each individual string color, but I've run out of all of the string colors, so I'm just deciding to do it all. So then you're going to cut your strings like so. And you want them pretty short, but not too short so they don't mess up. And then you're going to take your next color, which for me is going to be this burgundy color, and you're going to separate it from the others and you're going to do forward knots but you're going to be careful because you want to include the strings you just cut so you're going to take your your forward knot and you're going to loosen it until you get up here so that it includes all the strings that we are using so you're going to be careful and then you're going to pull it and make sure you're including all the strings 
So you're going to do this a few more times until you can't see the strings that we cut because you don't want those poking out because then it would look a little weird because you'd have the magenta color, magenta burgundy color, and you'd have yellow and blue sticking out and we don't really want that. Also, if you want to replace your string but you don't want to replace all of the strings, just take the color that you want and you're going to do the exact same thing but instead of cutting all of the strings, you're just going to cut the blue strings. Tie the knot with your new blue strings. So now once you have the new blues tied to the wire, you're going to chop off the old blues. We're only going to do the old blues because we want the same thickness underneath, so if we chop off all of them, then it won't be the same thickness as the rest. Just like before when we cut the strings, you want to make sure that you go easy on your next few forward knots so you can include the old strings to make sure they don't stick out. Because if you don't, they'll stick out like this, and then in your bracelet, it will not look the best. So once I'm done with wrapping the wire, I cut the strings at the end, and I place a piece of tape around the end of the cord. Now I'm sure there's a bunch of other ways to do this, but this is just how I do it, and I'm fine with the tape at the end, and I like it this way. I think it adds little pop of color at the ends of your charger. So then the end should look something like this or it can look something along the lines of that. There we go, that's the charger. It is very long but it looks pretty nice. If you guys want any more tutorials or anything else like this make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and comment down below any questions you have. So that's it for today. Bye guys!